cut. Well, I'll just cut it myself. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. Okay, so we'll just do like. Um... You think we're too far away? No. That looks kind of cool like that. Like kind of like lean in. Yeah, like lean in, like lean in on the side. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Like, yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, you ready? So we'll cover, uh, and we'll do that first and then we'll kind of, we'll just roll with it, yeah? All right. Hi, my name's Drew. All right, we'll start that over. So I say my name, then you <laughs> yeah, say my name. Yeah, I got you. Okay, ready? So. Hi, my name's Drew. And I'm Jason. And we're part of Panic Terror Films. And before you watch this film, we want to share a really important message with you. <clears throat> Hi, my name's Drew. I'm Jason. It's too delayed. Yeah, too yeah. delayed. <clears throat> Hi, my name's Drew Moreland. And I'm Jason. Oh. Let's get, let's get <laughs> yeah, your last name in there. All right. Violence is influenced by today's... Ooh. So, what if we take weapons out of a horror film? Yeah, that truly works. Oh, no, that sucks. That sucks. It sucks. <laughs> so, media, what you see on the TV. So, we decided to take. Damn it. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it wasn't good. This is, this is what's hard about doing disclaimers. So, let's say. Okay, let's, we'll, we'll get this. <clears throat> okay, right? Take it from the top. I got this. Hi, my name's Drew Moreland. I'm Jason Dalzell. And we're part of Panic Terror Films. And before you watch the movie, Hobo Saves the World, we have a very important message we'd like to share with you. So in today's society, it's really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we, should say, we should really say that, right? <clears> hmm. <throat> Hi, my name's Drew Moreland. I'm Jason Delzell. And we're part of Panic Terror Films. And as well, we are the writers and the directors of Hobo Saves the World. And before you watch this film, we have a very important message we'd like to share. And that message is, the world is really fucked up and people are losing their shit and the world is going to shit. And that is influenced by today's media because there's a lot of shit on the TV. So what if we got rid of certain things that involve and inspire violence, like certain weapons? Could you imagine a horror film without any guns, any knives, no bows, nothing to stab someone or shoot someone? What would that look like? So we decided to create Hobo Saves the World and hopefully influence more independent filmmakers to be inspired by making films without too much violence because maybe the world needs it. Thank you for listening to this very important message. And enjoy our film. I'm going live. I'm going live with breaking news in Michigan and Canada's behind me. People are losing their shit. We're getting reports in that people are eating other people. Please lock your doors. Stay away from the windows. I repeat, stay away from the windows. I repeat, stay away from the windows. Oh, oh shit. I lost.
lost my shoe. Friends are hanging out having a chill day at Kiki's house, drinking whiskey, smoking weed, and eating pizza, playing beer pong, waterfall. Would you rather? Would you rather? Oh man, yeah. Would you rather? God, it takes me back to that date. God damn. <laughs> yeah, would you rather? What if I got a guy talking about? Would you rather? Would you rather eat someone? Yeah, eat someone out. I think that's fun. Ah, oh, so this, this is freaking gold. Yeah, I like this. So, would you rather give a rim job to a prisoner that hasn't showered in months or get eaten by a crack doctor? Um, what kind of question is that? Um, I guess a cracked out zombie? What's up? What's up? Tonight is the night to get tanked up. Holla at your bitches, Kiki. <laughs> Love cries, Billy. Time to be Yeah, or yeah, um, 
yeah, when you finish it up, uh, just email it back to me, and I'll just keep writing after you. If you, uh, you know, um, you know, come into a brain fart or something. Uh, but all right, yeah, just keep it up. Keep up the good work. I, I love the uh, creativity. You know, and when's that guy sending that script over for two bums in a dumpster? Or what? A what? Two two hacker bums in a dumpster? Okay, yeah, yeah. Just just let me know when he uh, when he sends that over. That's that's a yeah, great, great. Listen, investors are going to love this film, man. I'm telling you, it's 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 gonna be great. It's gonna be it's gonna be funny. You know, they're gonna see that you know we made this whole film with zero dollars. Right, I know who wouldn't want to invest in that. I, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Great, dude. All right. Oh, yeah. Just, I'll let you go. All right. Yep. All right. Bye. Cha ching, cha ching, bitch. Looks like I'm on the F train to Subtown. Hey, wait. Do you really want to eat that whole sandwich while I'm sifting through trash in utter despair, growing contempt for you while we could be sharing what we find like brothers? Well, what are you, some kind of silly communist? You get what you find and you find what you get. That's life, bitch. This every man for himself way of life, it's archaic. If we work together, we can have the best life, Dick. Can't you see that? Well, I didn't hear you preaching togetherness when I found you slumped over in an alley licking the remains out of a Jameson bottle. By the way, how'd you get that bottle, Red? I mowed lawns for it. It was the middle of November, and you haven't got a lawnmower. You keep telling people you're gonna cut their lawns with your bare hands. By the way, I heard how you got that bottle, Red. I heard that you got it from jerking off the manager of the First National Bank. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I took the shot, and now all the other shots are mine. Well, that's my milk machine, you son of a bitch! get out of here before you wind up getting arrested again? You, uh, you want some of this? Yeah, what the hell? Well, this sub really does taste like ass. Some old lusty lady bought me a bottle of wine earlier. <laughs> you sneaky socialist. <laughs> Did she wipe? gonna be gold <laughs> investors are going to eat this up people in France are gonna be like suck a lipo oh my god guys I can't believe I made it out alive yes. not today Satan exactly. not today <sighs>
Legend has it, man. Damn, this is good. So the legend has it, y'all. This is how it goes. Legend has it. There's a doctor that owns the streets of Pittsburgh. They call him Mr. High. But I just call him Dr. Micro Dick. Don't let him fool you. He's trouble. He's a drug dealer that sells laced heroin to the homeless and lost souls with the price of selling their body for a science experiment. Legend goes, this heroin is laced with something called crocodile. So these motherfuckers eating other people are just people who do some hardcore jacked up heroin. This is the realistic fucking zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I gotta get me one of those. I've been beating my meat the wrong way. Shit. <laughs> Is your forearm getting tired? Are you having a hard time pounding your own meat? Get the meat tenderizer 5,000. Life was already hard when you had to pound your own meat. But when I got the meat tenderizer 5,000, it changed my life around. Now I'm pounding my own meat with just a flick of the wrist. With today's sleek technology, you can pound away with efficient speeds to anything besides your own meat. You can beat your own lamp. Destroy your maxed out credit card. And you can even pound your own mailman. Buy your meat tenderizer 5000 today so you can start pounding away. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is This is going to be some gold stuff, man. Investors are really gonna like this. They're just really, really gonna like this story, huh? Hmm. If it was a real zombie apocalypse, no one would have guns or a knife or anything. So there would just be. What about, what about a hoagie? Yeah, cause that guy sent that script so we can put a hoagie in there and then a, and then a sub hoagie, tomato, tomato, whatever. And people want to get, people know what the hell it is. Yeah, what if we just, mm, the sub, mm, good idea. <laughs> wow. 
thought about pineapple. Huh. Pineapple. Where should the pineapple go? Yeah, I like this. Ha! It's gonna be great. Great film. I just love this. Oh, yeah. People are gonna eat this up. This should be a video game. a video game. Okay, all right. What the fuck is that? Look! It's Dr. Microdick! What do we do? The scientists. You know. I'm glad that Jason had a really good idea about that shit flying in the air. Mm, let's put that in there. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, he, he wrote this pretty well. Huh. Let's see. A bingo beatdown. What the fuck is a bingo beatdown? Bingo beat down. Huh. Yeah, man, what's a I see this in the script. What what what's a bingo beat down? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. That make that makes sense. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Get these bastards and give them the bingo beat down. What's a bingo beatdown? The bingo beatdown is the fight club for the elderly. No, 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 no. It's where old people gamble. <laughs> bingo beatdown for the elderly. That's some funny ass shit. shopping cart in there because if it was a real zombie apocalypse <laughs> people wouldn't be using cars especially a homeless guy like they're gonna be using a shopping cart you know like because he's a homeless dude <laughs> right right yeah oh
Wait. What the fuck? It's a shopping cart. Yeah, it has some badass wheels over here. You want to come check them out? Uh. It's a fucking shopping cart. Hobo's. <laughs> uh, well, his idea really made it out there. Hobo Hose is now on TV. Shit. He got us our own commercial. Who knows? All I know is that everyone lost their fucking shit. People are just eating other people. That's a new thing. I haven't tried it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Who stole my cereal? Yeah! So good, it's killer. Get your shank inside every prize in a box. Try your hobo O's today.
mystic embers. The oracle has told us of your journey. You have been expected. This time. Mystic embers. Okay. Ford group enters a shop and discovers that the witches run the store. Oh, witches are a sorry store trying to get the customer. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Mystic embers. Daytime. Yeah, I like I I I approve that. Looks yeah. Looks good. The Oracle. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. So we, we, we got everyone casted, but someone dropped out. I know. I know. Right at the last second. I know. I, I, right. I know. Oh, uh, I know. All right. Well, I mean, I did write the part. Um, so I'm going to, I'll just, I'll just step up to the plate and I'll just go ahead and, um, uh, do the roll. Yeah, okay. Alright. Well, now, is that a gun in your holster? Or are you just having to see me? In order to hear this destiny, you must pass this joint to the next person. And on to the next. And on to the next person. To seal the sacred ceremony.
This is the cure. English. This is the cure. This will save the world. You must go! Hobo. You must go. All of you must go. Hobo. Kiki. Washington. Boom. Go. And save the world. We need to get some fresh water and um does anyone else kind of feel horny after all this magical stuff? No? No? Yeah, hey, um, yeah, someone just told me that a pineapple means, like, swinging, like, swingers. Yeah, I, I did not know that when writing the pineapple in this story. <laughs> I, yeah, I know, yeah. We're just, we're just gonna roll with it. We'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out in the script. Yep, mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know, right? Well, we, we are looking to attract different fans, right? Yeah, a different audiences yeah i i know <laughs> i know yeah oh shit people are gonna eat this stuff up i know yep hey all right yeah i'll call you tomorrow morning yes okay <laughs> bye
WZ. Well, at least it's not copyright infringement. Just flip it upside down. <laughs> yeah, first. Welcome, America, to TWZ. My name is Walter Barbaras, and welcome to the news about our celebrities. The celebrity has just released her new hit song, number one on the charts. Today, we have the celebrity on the show for a personal interview. Thank you so much for joining TWZ and letting me do an interview with you. Well, thank you, Walter, for having me today. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much. And celebrity here. I am ready for whatever question you have. And don't forget to follow me on my social media and get a chance to listen to my new music. Oh, by the way, your skin looks fabulous. If I may ask, how old are you? Because seriously, you are fantastic. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm pushing 90 years old. Wow, I wouldn't have guessed. Because seriously, you are fabulous. Thank you. Yeah. I'm an immortal, and I'm going to live forever. Yeah, no, people are gonna want this script. This. Well, I guess, uh. I guess we gotta finish the movie. Yeah. 
ending credits. 